Hello everyone and welcome to this rather interesting broadcast of the 13th installment of the New and News. We have a lot to cover today, but before we do, we have some sponsors. Ravenel says that he is secretly in love with Xenovis and believes that NSDP is the best clan on Hope and that Neon Clan is the best clan on Oath. Strange RTY wants to say, Dick Cheese. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the story. Today we announced some great news! Birdwatch is back on Hope, and two of its events happened this week. The bad part is, the community outrage coming from the experimental changes on Birdwatch. For the first Hope Birdwatch, Ollie implemented the feature that if you entered the zone with a bird, you would gain 100 points instantly, causing mass chaos. Along with that, killing somebody with a bird would get rid of 50% of their points, and logging with the bird wipes all of their points. As a trade-off, people would not lose their points while being hit while having a bird. Ollie did a poll on these changes and also reasoned that Totem should remove a percent of points too. After this bird watch earlier in the week came the one yesterday, which somehow became even more controversial. A new feature was added where, if a nest was destroyed, the bird holder would lose 50% of points. This caused even more outrage as people would just camp their enemy's nest and not pick up birds as they would inevitably lose half of their points if they did. Hopefully Ollie will iron out these changes eventually. Give him a little time, guys. He's just trying to know what's best for the event. On Hope on Wednesday, Sturm net a massive victory with 69.8%, with AIDS Clan coming in incredibly far behind at 14.2%, Digger Clan netted 6.8% but was immediately disbanded after Castle, Dust came far behind them at 6.3%, and behind them, NSDP at 2.9%. But Saturday on Hope was much different. Xenovis, after teaming up with the remnants of the old Jizz Empire, took Castle with 38.9%, with Sturm barely behind at 35.8%. Aids Clan got 11%, and Pseudo Clan, a new competitor, got 8.3%, and Talisee, Solo, and Moodle Clan uh, got 6% at last place. Sadly, I was unable to get Wednesday's results per oath, but I can definitely say that Saturday's Castle was nothing but strange. Neon Clan, comprised of Neon Cat and Neon Raven, won Castle with a small 21.3% majority. Coming behind them was Doof Clan at 19.5%, and behind them was CMD Clan with 13.6%. Balu, a regular contender, got 11.1%, with Mauled tying them at 11.1% also. Max Clan got 6.5%, Dick Clan got 6.2%, PDR3 got 4%, PDR got 3.8%, and Hora got 3.0%. Uh, this is by far the most diverse castle that Nguyen has ever seen, by far. And that concludes our broadcast of Nguyen News. Sorry that there wasn't a lot of content today, but we didn't really have much to cover this week because the server's been dead. And with that out of the way, this is Stormire signing off.